This tutorial covers the CHIMPS time code function. We shall show you where to set the time code and how to trigger the cues using time code. Thank you for your interest in the Infinity Chimp Light controller and welcome to this tutorial. To learn more about the various parts of the Infinity Chimp Light controller, keyboard, and screen, you are advised to watch tutorial 1 and 2, Hardware and Software. This tutorial is based on software version 1.3. If your chimp uses a different software version, the functions or user interface may be different. Please note that we refer to the chimp hardware keys as keys and the GUI software keys as buttons in this tutorial. Activating the time code. The time code settings can be found in the time code input menu. To access this menu, we first need to go to the Setup menu. Then, tap the Input slash Output button on the touchscreen. In this pop-up menu, we can see five tabs, including the Time Code Input menu, which we select by tapping on it. We then see the message that only the CHIMP 300 time code accepts input. The CHIMP 100 doesn't do this. In the pop-up menu, we can see the current time code time and time base of the time code that is currently being used. With time code source, we can select the type of time code we want to use, internal generator, MIDI time code, or SEMPTI time code. In our example, we have selected the internal time code generator, a code which is also sent to external sources through the MIDI output. To switch the time code generator on or off, we tap the Enable Time Code button. We can see that the button is active. The time code indicator at the top of the chimp's touchscreen starts to run and turns green. We can turn the time code off by tapping the Time Code Enabled button again. At the top of the chimp's touchscreen, next to the Time Code Enabled button, we can see the Reset Time Code button. As soon as we press this, the time code is reset. The value can be set and altered in the Time Code window. We can set the start and stop times in the Time Code Input menu. These are located under the Start Time and Stop Time buttons on the touchscreen. If desired, we can also alter the frame rate and set the loop function to loop the time code list. In our example, we have left the time as it is and haven't changed anything. Cues controlled with time code. We've prepared a cue list to demonstrate the time code. Press the playback button in the top left corner of the touchscreen. Open the cue list by pressing the open key on the chimp keyboard and then the playback key 10. In this cue list, we can see 13 cues. We can activate the list by sliding fader 10 upwards. The cues in this list are all on a manual trigger. If we wish to use time code, we have to change manual trigger to time code. This is done by tapping trigger in the option bar of the cue list, so that all cues in the list are selected at once. We then press the chimp's set key and select the time code option. All the cue times are set to zero by default. To continue programming the time code, select the Settings menu on the queue list. The time code settings are at the bottom of the touchscreen. This section is called General Timing and Time Code Mode. The options Go Queue and Goto Queue are displayed here. The difference between these two options is that Go Queue 
takes account of which option the queue has after the queue timecode. For example, if it is on wait, then the queue will wait. However, if the go to queue option has been selected, it will jump to the queue with the program timecode, regardless of where the next queue is. To program the timecode, tap Learn Timing on the touchscreen. The chimp is now ready to learn the timecode. A purple bar will appear in the queue list. We can activate the queue list by pressing Playback Key 10. A purple light will also turn on in the Playback Key. To activate the timecode, we tap the Time Code Enabled button on the touchscreen and we can see that the timecode starts running. To teach the chimp the time code, we only need to press the Go key in the Queue List 10. Each time the Go key is pressed, the time will be stored in the queue where it is at the moment. Once we've finished programming, we can disable the time code by pressing the Time Code Enabled button on the touchscreen. Behind the queues, we can see the times we have programmed. We can, of course, adjust these times manually as well. In our example, we are going to alter the time code on Q2. We can do this by selecting the time on Q2, followed by pushing the set key on the keyboard. We can now change the time manually. When we have finished programming the time code, we can switch the Learn Timing option off. We do this by going to Settings and tapping the Learn Timing button on the touchscreen. The queue list with the time code is now ready. To activate it, we press the Playback 10 key and tap the Reset Time Code button on the touchscreen. The queue list is now waiting for the time code signal. When we tap the Time Code Enabled button on the touchscreen, we see that the queue list starts running and that the queues are played back at the programmed times. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Infinity strives to keep its chimp related tutorials and software information up to date. Keep an eye on our social media channels for the latest information on the chimp.